Good morning Church and welcome to your BCF Sunday service today the 26th of April. This is the sixth service in our lockdown series providing online worship for you our BCF members and we hope you find today's service as uplifting and engaging as many of you have already commented on via the WhatsApp groups. Thank you very much for your comments and encouragement. To all those contributing, today's theme which will transpire through the reading and message is faith. For even the most faithful of Christians, the current coronavirus pandemic could be a difficult and unnerving experience. I'm sure very few of us can remember a time of more uncertainty as we watch events unfold across the world and close to home, seemingly from our place of helplessness, while our lives are disrupted in just about every way possible. In troubling times like these, we would have the refuge of our churches where we could gather with like-minded Christians and enjoy fellowship, prayer and inspiring messages from our preachers and each other. But as we all know, that's not an option at this moment in time. Complicating matters is the sense of isolation that can affect our state of mind, making us feel cut off and alone. We are working hard at keeping communication open with our WhatsApp groups and Sunday services. However, if anyone needs help, would like a chat or knows of anyone who is feeling lonely, please tell us and we will very gladly make personal contact with them. So, is it possible to remain faithful and hopeful during a crisis like this one? Well, to answer that question, all that we need to do is to turn to the Bible, which provides us with endless passages, with a true message that God is with us always, and will never forsake us or leave us truly vulnerable. While we may know this intellectually, that doesn't mean that it is always easy to apply this to our life situations, especially ones as intense and possibly overwhelming as the one that we have all found ourselves in at this point in time. So I would like to open our service today with a prayer about faith and hope. Let us pray. Lord, thank you for being our rock our anchor, our comforter and our friend throughout this difficult time, as always. Thank you that you are carrying us through the uncertainty and pain of what we are experiencing. We are constantly aware of how much we need you. Jesus, let your grace, your strength and your power work through us, through our brightest hours and our toughest days. Keep our focus firstly on you, knowing that by doing this we will feel a peace that transcends all understanding. We have faith in your word. In Philippians verse, chapter 4, verse 7, And the peace of God which transcends all understanding will guard our hearts and our minds in Jesus Christ. Please forgive us for giving too much time and attention to other things for looking to other people and solutions before coming to you first. Help us to come to you more, to study and reflect again and again on you. Thank you that you came to give new life, peace, hope and joy. Thank you that your power is made perfect in our weakness. In 2 Corinthians chapter 12 verse 9, But he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you for my power is perfected in weakness. Therefore I will boast in the most gladly in my weaknesses, so that the power of Christ may rest on me. Help us to remember that the gift of Christ is our greatest treasure. Fill us with your joy and the peace of the Holy Spirit. Direct our hearts and minds towards you. Thank you for your reminder that both in times of celebration and in times of brokenness, you're still with us, for you never leave us. Thank you for your powerful and daily presence in our lives, that we can be assured your heart is towards us, your eyes are over us, 
and your ears are open to our prayers. Thank you that you surround us with protection as with a shield and we are safe in your care. In John chapter 20 verse 29 you said, They are blessed who have not seen and yet believe. We choose to press in close to you and keep you as first in our hearts and lives. Without you we would surely fail, but with you we have such faith that there is hope, salvation and everlasting life. In Jesus' name, Amen. We start our worship today with two lovely songs, Praise is Rising and Cornerstone. All the songs show the lyrics, so we hope you feel encouraged to join us by singing along. Enjoy, and hope it's not too long before we all meet again. Enjoy. <laughs> 